Hi everyone, and today we are here to take this project on the flavors of cocoa, which was based on a survey of people who came and um, gave their uh, rating, right, uh, for different flavors of cocoa. Um, chocolates. Uh, so uh, we're taking the summary that we had created in the Excel file and putting it into Python so that we can take the next part of the project in Python. As uh, I mentioned, I've copy pasted this into the Python notebook right directly from uh, the Excel and added the hashtags uh, so that it gets commented. Uh, we have the define already done. So the part that I'm really going to work on is the collect and the organizing of data. So what do I do is I pick that up and paste it here. There is no other data set as of now. And importing the data set is the first step to working on the data. So when I'm looking at importing the data, it is very simple. There's a data frame I'm going to create and um, this is a link to the data uh, in XLSX uh, that I want to import in from, which is the survey uh, data and the sheet name is sheet one, right? So here we go and we import in the data set into this, um, um, you know, Python workbook, okay? So as is usual, whenever we import in the data, uh, we want to look out at the data and see how the head and tail, which is the beginning and the end of the data set looks. And this is how it looks. We can see there's one, seven, nine, five rows and nine columns of data. And uh, then what we want to do is to do a describe function just so that we can understand how many uh, of the, how much of the data is uh, good to book. Uh, what are the values? What are the minimum, maximum values? So we're just following what we had done in Excel where we were able to actually uh, view it and uh, put it out here in code so that the project can flow as well as it flowed in for us and in Excel, okay? So here we come to know the minimum, maximum, et cetera, of each of the fields that we have, which are numeric. And then we want to look at mm, missing values to find out. So if you remember in Excel, we had done the count A function. Here we do a missing is uh, uh, NA function. And uh, the other way to do it is we do a df info function. Here, what it will do is for every column, it will tell us the non-null values, how many non-nulls we have. Uh, another good way to do it is to say data frame is NA, sum it up so that per column, we can see how many not available data points we have. Okay. So here, uh, what do we find? That there are uh, two of the columns, bean uh, type and bean origin where we have one one not available data, okay? So one good way to do go ahead and remove these uh, data points is to look at, um, uh, you know, dropping uh, uh, any row of data where all the columns are actually NA. And this is the code where to do it. We just say drop NA, access is equal to one, how is equal to also if in all the columns of data, if we have any in any row, please go ahead and drop, drop it. And, um, you know, we will see that nothing much has changed for us. For us, uh, the values will remain the same, um, you know, because there is no row where all the columns are um, uh, any. So with this, I'll pause and we'll take it up in the next class.